Hello, hello, hello! Welcome to the final episode of Year One! The final week of Year One on Aspen Farm, joining Marcus, who's been working his booty off. Let's be real, he's been working real hard. Mm. Drink of the day is electrolytes, by the way. Um, he's been working so hard, we have been making so much. It is a horrible luck day. Okay. Um, he's been making so much wonderful progress on the farm as of late. Let's move some things around. Add some more over here, yeah. Um, and we could not be happier with the progress that he's been making. So, Monday the 22nd, we have 23rd, 4th, 5th, 6th, 7th, 8th. Um, 3rd, 4th, 5th, 6th, 7th, 8th. I think 6 days. I think we can't plant any more powder melon. Because it takes seven days. So I think we're done with powder melon. Um, we are going to hang on to... Actually, you know what we're going to do? I'm going to start to shoot. I don't want to... Artisan, nice. We are going to upgrade. And I assume... Yeah, if you just do that, then it just upgrades. Whoa! Oh, this thing is massive. Oh, it looks so good. This thing is huge. Okay, well, that solves all of our problems. This is so big. How many slots is this? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14 by 4. What is that? I can't do math. 52? 14 times 4. 56. 56. So it's, that's, that's 56 slots. That's crazy. I love that. Okay. We have a chest. Oh, I don't. Okay. <laughs> Apparently, that just replaces it. But I just wanted to put the chest in there. Um, we we have a busy little bit ahead of us. Oh, we have some bait too. Why am I keeping bait? So we're gonna slowly change out these chests to all be large chests. It'll take a little bit. Um. Yeah, it'll take a little bit. So we're gonna just make a bunch of forage seeds and then we'll just continue to replace all of the current seeds with forage seeds, probably. What's going on in here? Anything fun? No. All right, we don't really need a fishing rod on us today or really the majority of this episode. I did not, I did not look up. I hear you. I did not look up if, um, we could get void mail or not. I'm not again too concerned about it. We'll get it when we get it. Even it'll probably be in year two sometime. Wow. Look at that. That's like literally it's just like here, make two copper bars out of this. Um So yeah, no, we'll get it when we get it. We'll get it when we get it. Maybe if I have spare time, which knowing me, um, we won't. Um maybe if there's spare time we'll try and this tree wasn't supposed to be here. Wait, what did I do? Why are these all... I don't know what I... Oh, I, I think I intentionally actually staggered them. Never mind. I'm just being a goof. Um, if we have extra time, we'll go and try and fish again. But, eh. Because, again, I haven't seen comments. If any of you have kind of suggested otherwise, I haven't seen them yet. So... That's why I'm not doing anything, because I'm recording this episode directly after recording the episode before this. I'm wondering if the grass is going to explode like it normally does in springtime. I guess we'll see at the beginning of the next episode. Okay, let's grab our milks. And let's do the milk thing. Again, we are going to be trying to focus on some iridium. I'm also going to hang on to one of these goat cheeses because it's Leah's birthday tomorrow. Yeah, it's kind of Project Iridium. Not today, obviously, because it's like super bad luck day. So we're going to... One, two, three, four, five. And then we'll take that. Um, we're going to maybe go visit the quarry today. I don't know, but it's also a bad luck day, so it's not the best day to visit the quarry. What the heck? Oh, it's hiding right here. That's where. Hi, Whisper. I have no clue when this is going to be done because we don't have UI info suite or any indication of what's going on there. I don't know. So maybe we might do some dusties today because um, then that way we're working on our combat too because we are one level away. One darn level away from getting all of our skills to level 10. 
um, so we can get that door. And again, this is a gentle reminder, especially if you're tuning in for the first time because the algorithm brought you here. I'm trying to avoid any spoilers, including ones that y'all um, would like to let me know. Because... Why am I keeping the cheese in here? I can, I can keep it in here, it's fine. Um, I think it's a very wonderful way to really immerse ourselves in the new content, the 1.6 content. We only get to experience this content once. And so I want to make sure that I am really... Oh, you gave us something. Thanks, Rue. Um, I want to make sure that I'm really experiencing it as much as I can. And part of my plan for that is going in blind, not knowing anything. I didn't want to do my research beforehand and go in and be like, oh, yeah, this is how you do this. Great. Doing it next. Right. I wanted I wanted to kind of be wowed and like maybe struggle a little bit and make things take a little bit longer than they should because I'm just exploring and discovering them myself. So I appreciate you all because you've all been so great at keeping things spoiler free for me. So I very much appreciate you kind of respecting my request there. And I know many of you um, yourselves are wanting to be spoiler free. So we're kind of discovering this together. Um, let's clean up this because this is going to bother me and maybe there'll be a, um, what's that thing called? A panning spot. There we go. That's where my brain was. Maybe there'll be a panning spot somewhere. Doesn't look like it. Let's drink a triple shot though because we're moving a little slow. We're moving just a little slow for me today. We got a lot of things to take care of. Oh, I also counted out that we have a total of, if we don't put down any more sprinklers, we have a total of 368 um, sprinkle, blah, 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 sprinkled, <laughs> um, like crop plots. 368 is the number that we're at. You don't have a wife yet, my raccoon friend. Where's your wife? Now maybe I find a wife. How can I help you find a wife? I want to help you find a wife, but I don't know how. Excuse me. Um, we need to. What are we gonna do? Oh, we're gonna go check the board because it's Monday, and we're really bad about checking the board on Mondays. So we're gonna try and prioritize that. There we go. There's some resin back. Might be able to make another keg. I think because it's a bad luck day, though, um, we might just go cut down some trees instead of go to the quarry. I think we want to save the quarry for at least a neutral luck day, just because I think it does reflect the amount of coal we get. And again, someone may have answered that, but I haven't seen that comment yet because I'm recording this. Oh yeah, we have a ticket, right? Because we finished. Um, let's do the resource rush. I don't want to do the omelet yet when we're still so reliant on eggs and mayo for income. Oh, a hat. Well, we get a fish smoker next. And the plants, that's a new plant. What was this? I didn't see the name of it. Sports cap. Looks great. It doesn't actually fit my head that well. Do you notice that? It's like it cuts off and then my head keeps going. Well, we'll wear the sports cap around for a little bit. Um, I don't remember what I was saying. I don't know, let's go clean up. Actually, we don't need to clean up our inventory. We're just gonna be cutting down some trees. Uh, we probably are not going to be able to achieve that one. Oh, yeah, it's the bookseller day. We're, we're not, I don't know if we're going to be able to achieve that one. I heard you. I heard you. Do I see you? Please be up here somewhere. No, there's wormies up there. Yeah, I don't know. If we don't achieve that, that um, resource rush, I'm not going to be devastated. Can I trade in books? Because you have... Um, we have one of you, so we get a hardwood. Jack, be nimble, stuffing. Okay, it looks like it's kind of the same stuff every time. Looks like it's the same stuff every time. Buy books. We can buy Way of the Wind Part 2. <gasps> Sorry, what? There are upgrades. There's upgrades. Oh my gosh. I really want this, but it's 25,000. I'm going to do it. I really want this one because that'll be so nice. Yay! You learned a new power. Look at that. Oh, it's near the end. Okay, so this can upgrade. Part one. Do any of them else say part one on them? 
so we can continue to increase our speed. I wonder if that just goes over top of this. No, it's probably maybe that one. I don't know. Hmm, that's so interesting. But yay, now we can run a bit faster through um, crops and grass. Which is awesome. I just saw that twice. We also just got two lost books. Which is... Uh, no, I'm not going to say it. <laughs> Yeah, let's go and cut down some trees. We don't need to go back to the farm and clean up our inventory for that. We're going to be getting like five inventory spots worth of stuff. So that's awesome. Oh, geez. I said it again. Sorry. My brain is just so focused on finally getting a book that we've wanted to get since like episode one or two. Ever since we saw it. Okay, let's go and mop up here a little bit so that it's ready to grow in the spring. Hi, Alex. How's your workout? Yeah, as soon as it's neutral luck or better, we're going to go with full cabins, honestly. Because I really want to try and get some iridium. Get iridium. Get, um, hopefully a prismatic shard somewhere in there, too. Which involves getting iridium. <laughs> Oops. Yeah, we're kind of at the point now where we're very iridium hungry in the playthrough. Um, that's thing, one thing I want to talk about while I'm just kind of destroying, deforesting my whole area here is uh, I really do feel like the core and the essence of Stardew is captured in the first year, right? You have the most fun, you have the most struggle, you really embrace what Stardew has to offer in the first year. So I very much appreciate you all sticking through, because we are nearing the end of year one. Where after this, now it becomes a little bit more grindy, I would say, because we're really working towards specific things. Um, don't get me wrong, there's still probably tons to discover. Like, we haven't even gone to the island yet. We haven't even gone into the, the boat room to unlock that. So there's going to be so much more to discover, but now we're not working on... Um, needing one gold bar and one iron bar and one refined quartz kind of thing for one sprinkler right we're working on a, little, a little bit of a larger scale so um it's gonna the the, the playthrough is gonna feel a bit different like i'm not gonna be doing anything different um, in terms of just like recording and commentating and everything but our day-to-day -day will definitely feel a bit different right where it's like we may spend all day doing one thing which has already happened a few times, but that's just the nature of the playthrough and kind of the demands that are, hello, I can trade you in. Because we don't need fishing experience. Um, that's the demands of the playthrough, really, right? Is sometimes you need to just spend some time doing one thing. I'm going to eat, like, until we get 250, I think, because we need to clean up two more rows. Like, we may need to spend all day in the Skull Caverns just getting as many ores as possible. So that whole... Not the whole episode, because these are week-long episodes, but it could be like a lot of the episode is just in Skull Caverns, because that's the only thing stopping us from progressing. That being said, that being said, don't let that be too discouraging, because I am going to be spending, and I did it, I think, two episodes ago now, I'm going to be spending a lot of time decorating and exploring how to actually use uh, the Meadowlands farm specifically, or right? have some fun with laying out things, changing it up, switching things around. So I've already done that how many times? Like, that's just, I have fun decorating too. And I know that's not everyone's cup of tea, so to speak. But that's why speeding up YouTube exists. That's why skipping portions of videos exists, right? If that's not your favorite thing. I'm sure people have already been doing that here and there. Um, and I am never offended if you do that. I'm just happy that you're stopping by. You're leaving a comment, you know? Um, and you're giving, oh my gosh, I swear this is not a plug. But you're giving that thumbs up. Because again, not I'm not seeking out those likes. But at the end of the day, if I see likes, if I see that gray suit, look at us. We look so sporty. Um, I actually like this top. If I see those thumbs up, those likes, that's just validation that some folks are enjoying watching what I'm doing. So I should keep doing what I'm doing, if that makes sense. So yeah, I'm not here to tell you to like and subscribe or blah, 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 you know, the typical YouTube banter, but I do notice the likes. I do notice the likes because again, it's a, it's a key indication to me that this is being received well by a certain group of people at least. 
um, even just the comments though. The comments are also, I mean, they've been overwhelmingly positive, which I'm so thankful for. But the comments too are like an even clearer indication because it's people directly kind of communicating what they're enjoying or their interpretation of what I'm doing really. This is so much wood. How much do we have? We already have over a stack. We're going to be, we're, we're loaded. Hopefully this should carry us into spring nicely. I shouldn't get too, hopefully, happy, crazy crafting things, which I will. I know I will, but... That's okay. We'll, we'll, we'll encounter that when we encounter it. Yeah, this is a very different experience for me too, because usually I'm going into springtime with like a fair amount of iridium sprinklers. However, we do not have a single one. And I know we could craft a few because we have like three iridium bars or whatever right now, but I'd rather upgrade this axe so that when we chop down trees, we don't need to, like we could have been done probably around eight o'clock in game time if I um, had an iridium axe. There we go. Sorry, I just had to map out the grid there. Skip, skip. Skip. Oh, stuck on a tree. Ah, I'm stuck on a tree. Not there, not there. Okay, that's fine. Not there. Here, here, and not there. Over there and there and then don't plant it up oh shoot don't plant it up further than that because um sebastian will come and just deforest everything for us am i planting things wrong i don't know what's happening also is there one here there's one there i feel like i shifted a bunch of these spots around which is fine if i did i did But yeah, these will, we're just prepping these so that starting spring, they'll just kind of grow. I don't want to really use tree fertilizer. Oops. Shoot, do I have energy? I do. Um, I don't want to use tree fertilizer on these. I want these to just kind of more naturally and passively grow. Because we could always expand into the desert as well. We haven't kind of um, taken over the desert land to plant some trees either. So, But with that green rain event, I don't know, like especially going into it with an actual upgraded... Um, oops, okay, well, we'll plant one there. It'll probably get destroyed. Going into the green rain event with an upgraded axe, I think we'll be able to make a fair amount of wood. Ooh, what was that? Don't know what that was. Don't know if I want to know what it was. Moving on. Yeah, that's pretty good, though. Look, we got, um, like, 1,300 wood today. I'd say that's pretty darn good. I didn't do the forage. That's okay. That's okay. We'll have something new tomorrow. I just got so sidetracked. What's new? Y'all know me well enough by now that immediately just my brain is somewhere else. Oh, because we, we don't have any oak resins. That's why that didn't go in there. Where's our books again? Here? Yes. Okay. And let's go to bed. Is he looking at us? He's not. Jeez. So scary. I wonder if it's like if he's in the same room as the bed is when he does weird things. Okay, we're going to do 4G things tomorrow. I'm hoping it's not a super good luck day because that would be a bummer. Today was the perfect day to do it, but I got very distracted by just cutting down trees. <laughs> day 23. It is Leah's birthday today. Or was it Leah's birthday yesterday and I just missed it? It's Leah's birthday today. Okay, let's see if we can find her. It's going to snow tomorrow. It is a neutral day. Okay, so... Um, we're gonna do forage stuff, and then we are going to see if we can go to Skull Caverns with the remaining time. Let's see if there's any action in here. There might be. Ah, there's a little bit of action. Okay. And I might actually take some of these rubies with us to get some spicy eels. So we have 16. We can get like a few spicy eels from that. That's That'd be nice. Okay, we are going to do animal things and then we're going to do crop things. Where are you? I heard you. I'm immediately distracted. 
Where are you? I heard you. I just because it could be iridium. That's why I care so much. I'll get stuck if I go that way, so I can go this way. What on earth? There you are. It was nine iridium. Yay! It was worth it. Um, I'm just gonna smell both of these honestly, because then we have enough to get max. I think. Just grab the rest of these. It's been chilling here for a while. I think that'll be enough to get an axe, hey? Oops, I didn't want to get on chestnut, I just wanted to. Yeah, because we have three bars, so we could get our iridium axe, and we definitely have the funds. We're just going to have to math out um, how much money we need for spring crops before we make any rash decisions, I would say. <coughs> okay. Um, maybe today, actually, we will figure out... We will figure out... We got a bunch of these little large mills. That means that they're all going to be gold quality... Um, geez, which is great. I think today we will figure out this cropland here. And the reason, and what I mean by figure it out is like, I really want to address this path here. Because this, like this square is a very good square for crop stuff. So I might take a look at how to better use that area. And then we're going to clean up the path on the right side here. I think that's a better use of time when it's a neutral luck day, which who knows, maybe that's the best luck we get all week long. Two, three, four, five. Maybe that's the best luck we get all week long. And if that be the case, that'd be the case. So yeah, I don't think we're going to complete Robin's um, resource rush this time around. And I think that's fine. I think that's fine. Oh, I'm going to have to cut down all that blue grass. Not all of it, most of it. Okay, but crops first. Crops first. Forage first. Which should all be iridium now. Yes, because we have level 10 foraging. Actually, maybe I will go to Skull Caverns today. Oh, I'm so indecisive. Because I'm going to get level 10 combat. All I'm going to want to do with the animals too is just figure out a way to... Oh, I heard you. Where are you? figure out the fence situation so that they oh that's like really no what that was so quick where'd you go it was there and then it wasn't maybe it was like a super rare thing then um what was saying? fencing just so that they don't wander super far Satisfying. And I'm finally going to ship one of these um, powder melons. Because we still have yet to ship one. So that one's gold quality, so it's probably going to be that one. I'm not going to lie. And as these grow in, we're just going to continue to just replace them with foraging seeds. Just to hold the soil for the springtime. Because the seeds, I think any seeds, like I was saying earlier, any, any seeds, especially now that we plant now, they will not grow because it's five days until spring. What crocus is in this patch? What the heck? Where are you? I heard you. Man, I need chestnut to get around faster, especially if these things disappear that fast. Not there. Um, are you down here? Nope. Are you up here? Uh, yes. What you got for us? Okay, three Omni Geodes is really awesome. That's like really beneficial for us. So we still need a lot of gems. Okay, let's go and do the forge over here. Why is it making that noise? And we're not going to really ship any of these. Like, we're just going to continue to make seeds for next winter. So that this is all prepped. And we have as many as possible. We might even switch to growing some of them. Probably on the island, honestly. If we can. If it lets us. 
Um, cause I don't know, cause these are different crops than your typical ones. They come in a brown bag. But yeah, we can continue to propagate them on the island, I would say, just for next winter. Yeah, it would've been nice to have some iridium sprinklers for over here. Cause this is like kind of the main area that I was thinking of for iridium sprinklers. However, we may be able to squeeze in a few... No, I don't think it's possible. I was thinking we could maybe squeeze in a few more... Um, uh, 69. Just only a casual 690. That's fine. Um, a few more sprinklers over here, but... Uh, so if you one, two, three... You could fit in sprinklers that way, but then you have to get a little creative with scarecrows. So put in another row of sprinklers. And then you can't fit any more on the top, so you have two rows here maximum, or one row there. So you'd be just sacrificing space, if you're trying to maximize the amount of space you get from sprinklers. But we could fit in three more, if we just squish them all together and then put the scarecrows on the top and bottom. Who you knows, maybe we'll do. I heard that. I heard that. Where are you? Where are you? I'm so distracted by this. Not there. Not there. You're going to lose pond. No, no, no. I swear I heard some. I must be losing it. the rest of those melons. Yeah, maybe it's better spent like just like seeding things today and maybe taking away the the animal land. The animal land. Six hundred and seventy-five. Nice. And let's just ship the rest of these. 1800, 2500, 3300. That's pretty substantial, too. And I'm going to ship one gold quality powder melon just so that we register that into our shipping collection and might as well get the most money out of one individual crop there. Did I pet Rue today? No, Rue, I'm so sorry. You should move your. You should move your, your little mat thing closer to me. Your water bowl. We are here for these. Actually, you know what I might do is I might bring them with me down to the animal land so that we can kind of work on them while we're picking away over there. Once these turn. Hello? Oh, we also have ancient fruit. Okay. Right. Every Monday. Every first of the episode. Okay, so we'll do these ancient fruit first. But yeah, let's go see what we can do down here. Um, I'm going to leave Chestnut there, and I'm going to leave these here. I don't want to leave them as like a wall. Keep on jumping on Chestnut and put him higher. There we go. Okay, so I think we're going to peel up this pathway, because this is kind of really restricting us. And it's also preventing more grass from growing. There we go. Sounds like seeds are up. So let's go ahead and do a quick turn. Seeds up again. Suck 
sucks when you get one seed because that's just like a one-to-one -one return right there. Okay, that's looking okay. Yay, those are all beneficial. Let's move over here now, see what we can do with this path over here. So I'm going to place these. I'm actually just going to place them like in front of the barn because we're not going to be doing much directly in front of the barn right now. So all this path here, I'm going to want to pick up and see if there's another place for it. super necessary right now because we're not going to be like maximizing our um like crop area right now but it's it's if we do it now then we won't have to adjust it in the future i know they're up but i'm wanting to finish off these last little bits <coughs> Let's do a row. Oh my gosh, what the heck? So many mixed seats from that one. Thinking maybe pick this up to like here ish. Yeah. Because this path could go. Oh, but it comes off of there really nicely. Uh, we might be able to adjust that. So if we pick this up all the way. pick this up all the way then maybe we can get it to come down closer to the barn so we can always press the barn and coop closer to the right if we wanted to so a little bit of wiggle room over there because so i'd want at least one path so that i can put like a fence and then two gates these will come up pretty quick yeah and if this peels up all the way, where does this... Oh, perfect. Perfect. Wait for this to come up so they sync up again. There we go. Three more and then we're done. And then we can continue to pick away. Okay, so that means if that happens, then this kind of little thingy... I mean, we can always bring it back, but it comes becomes a little bit obsolete. Let's do these last three. Okay, that tidies this up a little bit. So then this path would come down here, which is fine. And let's pick these up now before I forget. And I'm thinking two trees right here would be really nice. And I don't know about pathing up here. I don't think like it'd be like a cobble, like, you know, kind of a little like um, a secret path, so to speak. Because now we have freed up this area. But the question is, where do we want to? The path would probably come along here and then come up, up here and then worm this way and this way. Oh my gosh, this is a... A very wormy path, but then it would come down and connect here, I would say. Right. Yes, that's the plan. And I don't know if I'm going to chop up everything yet or wait until um, it's springtime once everything starts growing back, you know. Also, might just put these here. Grab these because we might take this in tomorrow to Clint. We have 143. Can we make how many? We can make 17. So we have how many do we have in there? Two. We can make so there's six. How many kegs? Because we were definitely. Yeah, it's the oak crescent. Right. We need to figure out our oak trees too. We can do that right now. It's 11:30, or at least 
talk about like an initial plan. Um, sure, we'll do that. Then we can make two more actually. And I'll put away this flooring for now. Oh, I see you. I can't get to you though. I can get to you. Whoa, that's a good haul. I'll take that, that's for sure. Um, let's tuck it all in here. Okay. <clears throat> um, shoot, I wanted to figure out these oak trees, but it's already 1220. We will upgrade the shed too eventually. Ah, stop. <laughs> I love you to bits, but you're sidetracking me so much. And what if you give like nine or 10 iridium? It's too much water on this farm. Huh? Where are you? I heard that in like my left earbud. Well, that totally derailed us. Uh, okay, so I'm thinking we're gonna get stuck on everything. I'm thinking that like this area in between our crops in here, we will actually maybe use this as a tree farm. Maybe, or like maybe right here. I just, I don't like it. I like them being on the other side of pathing, you know, so that they don't block everything. Um, but that's a consideration. Oh, why did you wiggle? We're gonna go to bed. Let's go to bed. We'll see what our luck is. That's a lot of money from forage. 10 grand from forage, wow. Wow, he says. Mm -hmm. 72,000, nice. Um, Let's see. 24th. I miss Leah's birthday. I'm so bad at birthdays. I need, and it's going to be Feast of the Winter Star tomorrow. Okay, so that's a write-off of a day. It's bats today. No, why is our luck so horrible? <laughs> um, Tomorrow's the Feast of the Winter Star for Leah. We do. We missed her birthday. I feel so bad we missed her birthday. Uh, okay, so let's grab some crops. We need six now. We actually need eight, because we have eight. I forgot we made eight preserved jars. Okay, and then we'll do a quick walk around, see where our powder melon... Actually, no, we don't need to do powder melons. I forgot that we were just going to wait. There we go. That'll increase our production a little bit. Now let's talk about trees, which I think I might have a plan for some. I might have a plan for some. Just looking at space, like there might be room to rejig some of this a little bit. Gonna keep this path here, keep it at by three. And because this is not we're not gonna use that spot, like that area for sprinklers or anything, right? So that's kind of wasted space, so to speak. Actually, I don't know if I like this. I was thinking the path could come off here somewhere. Like over here, just because that's at the bottom. And then peel up. But this might be awkward with this. Because it would have to come here. And here. And that looks a little weird. Because then we can put some trees here. No, I don't like that. We're just going to put it back. We're just going to put it back. We need to go do animal things before I keep getting distracted by decorating. <laughs> really is what happening. Um, I think we will put a border around this though. Clean it up a little bit, keep the grass at bay. Because that one's going to stay there for a little bit of time, I would say. That'd be nice, because there's, there's enough space for them to grow. Um, let's go do some animal things. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. And what do you got for us? One, two, three, four. Nice. And I 
think for this we're just gonna sell all of them. We have a good stockpile of cheese, so we can sell those ones. <gasps> Yay! Okay, so I have a name request for this. This comes from Luke, and we're gonna call this. This is our void chicken. We're gonna call it Nightshade. We're calling you Nightshade. Look at little baby, little baby black chicken with the piercing demon eyes. Oh, are we running out of? We're running out of fodder. All right, that's good to know. That is very good to know. Let's go and take care of that. Let's go get our scythe. Oops, oops, oops. We need, not you, wrong one, this one. We need the scythe. And let's scythe down some of this grass over here, because this is grass that we're going to be dealing with anyways, right? Oh my goodness. There we go. That's what I wanted to do. Yeah, like, we're going to be mowing this down anyways. So why not? Why not right now? Um, I don't know if I want to pick those yet, because like I said, I'm going to kind of hold off. There we go. Oh, I feel so bad scything bluegrass. <laughs> okay, <coughs> probably do the same thing down here. Oops, that was a little bit more than I meant to. There's no way we already sized 240 grass worth. And pretty much all the stuff at the top needs to go. There we go. Where is Chestnut? There's Chestnut. Okay, so now we're going to just kind of... Yeah. Take little chunks out here and there. See how much this says we have. 28. Okay, we have a bunch in chests too, but at least this is good. And this means that it will be able to... Sorry, my mic's really far away. It'll be able to grow. I'm going to maybe clean up all the way to the blue grass for that one. We're going to clean up this little patch in between the blue grass. Oh, don't mind if I do that. Seven coal and three, look at, or geez, other way around. Seven iron ore and three coal, nice. All right, and then yeah, we can pop in here and I think, I think both of these chests actually have some hay, yeah. There we go, okay, that should be good. We can come and redo these, or not redo, we can kind of fix these two eggs that are going here. Nice. There we go. Okay, so now the next thing is let's grab some seeds. Grab How many of these we're actually going to be using, and then I'm actually going to craft. Um, hey, let's just do wood fence. I know that this means we're going to have to replace it, but that's okay. And then where are my gates? Two, just in case. Three. Let's make one more. There. Okay. Let's see. Let's see what we can do with this. Oh shoot! Before we do this, actually, there's some things I want to do in town before everything closes. Hmm. <laughs> Hello, Pierre, that is now open on Wednesdays. Can I buy the grass starter recipe? And then can I buy... 
100 grass starter. Which you're like, wait, that isn't blue grass. I know, I'm also upset about it, but... I can't... Oh, shoot. I don't even remember where I wanted this grass starter. I know I just wanted some grass starter. Especially the fact it doesn't die in winter. Like, you can actually decorate with it now, and it will stay, which is so exciting. Um... So, whoops, so one thing that I'm going to want to do here is put two here, and then I was going to put, um, kind of like, uh, one there and one there. I don't know if those will grow, and then I was going to put some grass starter here just so that it doesn't get all like, crazy with spreading everywhere which it still will spread honestly but like the seeds sorry the tree seeds will spread and I was thinking over here we can just do some along the fence because they won't be in the way here and now that this is grown in we might be able to do something down here too right because these are these are like this is not going to grow grass here Oh, that just tucked away right in there. All right. <laughs> and those will be kind of more of our oak tree ones. So then I was thinking we can do a fence here. Fence here. And do a gate, a double gate here. And then we can do some more fencing here. I don't know how far. Maybe where we had it to before. Like maybe, yeah, maybe just along here. Just for now and then we can reassess in a bit because again this is cutting right through that crop field area that i was talking about so then we'll put a fence there or a gate there and a gate here just so that it's a little bit more convenient and then i need i'm probably just going to put a fence right across here with one gate because we're i don't know we might be going through there a lot we might not be um so let's grab do we have fencing so we do so we just need one gate. Let's do two gates, because two gates are nice, because you don't have to be as exact. And I was thinking that I might just plant some grass starter up here. Can I put it here like this? Can I put it, because then I can put this plant in the grass? I can. I don't know how I feel about that. It kind of hides it. These, that's okay. We can reassess. We can maybe get some bigger plants to put in here, but I think it'd be nice to have some grass here. For the meantime, right? When we're not really doing much with this spot, so. Yeah, that looks fine. Maybe put some here, depending. I don't know. Um, we're doing fence stuff. Let's continue doing fence stuff, and then we'll do some more tree stuff. And then we'll do a double gate right here. There. So interesting. You can open the gate on your horse, but then you can't close it on your horse. Okay. Um, so this is fenced in. Hopefully this will... I think this will all just grow the blue grass, which is nice. Next. We... some more tree stuff um before i do that actually let me use up more wood we are going to craft do we have wood path i don't think we have wood path no it doesn't look like it okay so wood path because this might frame actually i'm going to ditch the seeds i'm not sure i'm ready to commit to more seeds right now we can ditch the fence, but we're going to hang on to this grass just in case. Because, yeah, we might want to, like, for example, just sprinkle a grass in here just so that it can spread in the spring. I don't know. But we're going to put this down all the way around, which I don't know if 100 is enough. Probably not. Just to frame this crop field a little bit more. 
44, not bad. Same idea here. Just kind of keep the grass at bay a little bit. I love grass, but only in specific places. Oh, did pretty good. Okay, let's craft another 100. Ah, actually, do I need 100? I don't think so. Four might have been too many. Never mind, it was a perfect amount. Okay, and then the last thing that I was thinking, it's 9 p.m., so we have some time to do this, is I'm actually going to switch out some of my tools. I'm going to switch out this and this, grab this, grab this back out, and I am going to get stuck on chestnut. I'm going to grab these because we have quite a fair amount of them, and I'm actually going to do a little bit of moving over here. Uh, yes. So we're just going to move everything over one. Not everything, because, I mean, I have some, some melons that will be affected by this move, but... And again, it doesn't matter if these grow or not, so technically I don't even need to worry about the sprinklers being here, but... And then everything here will be moved over one... Um, no, I'm just going to redo it. Now's the time. So that row is okay. I can maybe squish it. Oh, shoot. Up a little bit. You can pluck those. That's fine. Before I do anything dangerous to them. This would be one, two, three. Actually, let's start from here. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So yeah, I need a scarecrow up here somewhere, which is fine. Uh, we are going to move all of these up one, just so that they're more connected. Which means those seeds down there are useless now is fine. We're going to put you and you, and then we're going to hoe here, and we're going to sprinkle some more seeds here. And then all of this will also be moving over one, I just don't know if I have the time to do that tonight. It's okay if these die, whatever. I keep on forgetting that it doesn't matter. We're not actually banking on getting crops from these. Oh, that's not what I want to do. 12.50. I am watching the time. Just trying to squish in a few more crops into this area. Oh, you're in the wrong spot too. You actually need to come up one. It's 120. It's 120. It's okay. I have a I have a house right above us that I can use. One thirty. And forty. One fifty. Go 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 go. Run Marcus into the house. I think if you're in the house you'll be okay. And run to the little bed. Yeah. Oh, okay. Didn't actually. <laughs> will I wake up in this cabin or will I wake up in my main house? 6,800. Oh, yay. Oh, it's festival day. Okay. Awesome. Feast on the winter star. So we can actually finish off those, that uh, crop field. Um, oh, we woke up in bed. Yay. Yeah, we can finish this off. And then we will go do animal stuff. So these need to move over one. 
this needs to move over one, which is going to get a little tricky with the melons. Might have to manually water some stuff for a second, but that's fine. And this actually needs to move up one. Where are we going? Two there. This actually needs to go here now. It moves over two. Yeah. And there. And then one, two, sprinkler here. Which actually still hits most of those. I think those ones are okay there, actually. That one might need to move up one, though, but... Uh, okay, and then here, and here. And then this one will move up one. Oops. There and there. Yep. And then we just have one, two, sprinkler right here. there and there. Nice. So we need... <clears throat> I think we actually have three sprinklers. We're going to just need three stone path. I'm going to take these and you know, these in here. Do we have three sprinklers? We do. Nice. Let's go, chestnut. Dunk you. Dunk All of that. Wow. Okay, we'll come back for the scarecrows, I guess, but... Um, did I just store those sprinklers I did? Okay, never mind. We will grab those, grab, what did I say? One, two, three. And grab the torches too. And then we will make three of these. Perfect. And then one, two, here, here, and here. There. Fit in a few more there, hey? Feast of the Winter Star has started. Yeah, we'll just have to water this one right here manually or until it's grown. Which is fine. I'm not even gonna wor English. Wow, well, I'm not even gonna worry about watering these because they're they're not gonna grow, so it doesn't matter if they're synced up or not. What matters is that they are holding this so ah shoot we could move it over one. Do I want to move it over one? Oh so painful. Cause now it's like uneven and I could actually no 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 we're fine because I need to plant stuff here. What am I doing? Let's just run around and plant as much. Oh, I just did one extra row by accident. That's fine. There, okay. And then let me just hoe this up so I don't forget. But this is not supposed to be here. There. Okay, that looks pretty good. And then let's go and check. Oh, except for right there. Let's go check down here real quick. I don't think we did anything down here, though. So it should still be okay. Yeah, if anything, we could squish that scarecrow down. We could one, two... We could maybe fit in a, another row, another row of sprinklers there if we squish that down. We could do that. And then this is, yeah, that's pretty much max out on its space. Eh, maybe we'll look at that other one. I'm not even going to look at the, um, oh shoot, we have the, right, we have the, um, scarecrows in. Um, you're crafted, so you go there. This goes here. Um, and let's go and pet all of our animals really quick, and then we can do the processing stuff after. Here we go, actually figure out how to do the gate 
Processing stuff after we get back from the feast. Is there a, is there a, there's a creature there. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. And it'll be nine, another void, and ten, another um, rabbit, and then eleven, twelve dinosaurs. Nice. Okay, we, yeah, we're just, ah, uh, shoot. How many do we have? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So we need to put them at by two and five. One, two, three, four, five. Wait, one, two, three, four, five, six. I need to put it right here. I don't even know if this is going to cover all of it, but we're going to gamble and say it will. So, And then we can do torches when we come back and it's nighttime. But there. But there. Oh, right, that's where I wanted to put some grass, was right by the, the doors, like the entrance right there. Sorry, Chestnut, I brought you with me. You're gonna live here probably now. Yay, Beast of the Winter Star. Let's talk to some folks. Today is a time to be thankful for this year's good fortune. Forget your worries and a day for a day and relax. I don't know if that's what I said. Welcome to the Beast of the Winter Star. Hmm, still upset I didn't win the fish ice fishing competition. What a beautiful tree. I think Lily wants to tell us a story, so I'm not going to talk to him. Hi, Marcus. You're welcome to join the family table if you need company. That's so kind. Spending time with family is tiring sometimes. Can relate. Um, hey, good afternoon. Hey, Linus. I join in, but I don't think I'm welcome. I'd probably get another tool set this year. <sighs> we open presents now? Oh, can I not get through there? Okay. Hi, Marlou. Hi, Marcus. Okay. Hi, Sam. I'm thankful for my guitar and my skateboard. Oh, and my family, I guess. Um, it's not a good time of year for a diet. That is true as well. Oh, hello. Oh my, aren't you cold, dear? It's freezing. A feast for some stupid star humbug. Um, we can talk to you. Hi, Marcus. What are you hoping to find under the tree? Um... A new watering can. All work and no play? That's not very fun. Sorry. I hope there's a new camera for me under the spirit tree. Um, it's fine art making candy. It's fine art making candy canes. You've really got to search far and wide for the best ingredients. They aren't easy to come by these days. I'm gonna wait for Leah. Why hello Marcus, it's chilly, isn't it? Ah, oh, all these happy families. But for me, just another lonely year. Um, I've met some people who believe in spirits and magic. But me, I never seem... I've never seen anything that couldn't be explained by science. And, oh, I, uh, I've had too much nog. <laughs> Whoa, you sell some interesting things here. Do you normally have a store, Pierre? Winter Manor. Maybe you do. Um, we'll buy one of these because I really like these. And let's buy a couple windows. And a houseplant because we like houseplants. Um, I don't want to buy the, this tree yet because it's, it's also expensive. There, okay, let's talk to Abby and then I think, and then Harvey. Nothing like piping a hot feast on a cold winter's day, huh? And I'm thankful there were no medical emergencies this year. Yeah, how does all this food stay warm? And hi, Leah, give Leah her gift. Yes, let's give her this cheese. Oh, so it's you? Ah, a goat cheese, thanks. Who's ours? Oh, is it Vincent? That's so cute. Thanks, Vincent. What you got us? Uh, excuse me. I have a gift for you. I found it last summer when I was playing at the beach. I hope you like it. Huh? <laughs> One piece of clay. Thanks, Vincent. What a sweetheart. I'm glad you moved here, Farmer Marcus. Oh, his hair sticking out of his beanie is so cute. <laughs> nice. Well, that was fun. Bye. Yeah, that was fun. See ya. Oh, we didn't talk to Jazz, did we? She's like tucked in here. I don't think we talked to her. Oh, presents. There we go. How much hearts did I give us with Leah? Two hearts. Okay, we'll take it. 
All right, let's do some torches. Does this spit us out right at our house? It does. Um, let's actually put in these things first. This bothers me so much that this can, can't be centered. Actually, I don't think I want that there. Put it in behind. Then we'll put a two windows right there. Nice. Did I buy anything else? A plant. Where do we want this plant? Let's put it in here. It's a little... Oh, oh gosh. Oh, oh, my cat just sneezed and it scared me so bad. Oh, oh my heart. It's because I think I was so focused on the mannequin and putting something beside it. That scared me so bad. One... Nice, there's already one in the corner. Two... One, two, three. One, two, three. Then we'll put two here. And let's see how that does. That does pretty okay. We can do kind of like a zigzag, like put one here and one here. And then we have one left, whatever. <laughs> Stuck it in behind this scarecrow. Cause it's kind of dark right there. Okay, I'm feeling better about that. Yeah, I'm feeling better about that. I think these scarecrows cover everything too. With the radius, one, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five. Yeah, and they cover up to seven, I think. So we're good. Okay, let's go do some animal stuff before I forget. Ah, it's coffee. Oh my gosh, it's everything. Okay, okay. Eee, I'm stuck on things. Yep, it is midnight. Okay, we're not going to actually turn the coffee. We're just going to toss it in. Because we need to jet down and... <coughs> turn the animal products so we don't fall behind yet again yet again i don't like that two gate i might make that just one gate again because that bugs me nice we're not gonna fall that far behind because we have some other things going on here i pet all of them so i don't need to reload that it looks like whisper was wide awake just staring at me that was terrifying and let's do the milks. This is so nice with the auto grabber because one, we didn't have to worry about actually grabbing them from the animals, but two, I mean, it's just that. It's really just that. We didn't have to worry about grabbing them from the animals. Okay, what do I want to do? I really want to fix that. That's going to bug me so much because it actually looks really bad. So we're going to pick up that and we'll, we will replace it with a fence tomorrow. This makes sense because there's a path. We could put trees along either side there. Especially while we're trying to get the oak resin. Maybe we'll do that. Maybe we'll do that. So I'll grab... We'll grab 20. Okay, and then we can put the clay away. And we need to grab one fence. Oh no, did I put the... Oh wait, no, that's fine. And then we can turn two broccolis and a broccoli and a squash. And now we can go to bed. Is a mannequin going to be doing things? No. Maybe I should put it... I don't want to put it in my room because that was so scary. And let's go to bed. Okay, now we actually are going to be checking on the, um, the luck and stuff. Because today is going to be a day that I actually want to run to Skull Caverns if possible. If possible. Money. So today is Gus's birthday, or geez, Clint's birthday. I don't know if we're gonna, we're probably gonna forget, let's be real. And it's bats, no, you moved a spot. You moved a spot, you little dink. Oh, you can turn them. Can I, can I not pick it up? Hello? Um. Why couldn't I pick it up? That was so scary. There we go. Pop all that in. Check the mail. Hello. I want to make a fish you, but I need an albacore. Okay, we'll try and do that. I mean, you might have to wait a whole year, honestly, but we will try. Put away the seeds. Nice. The other seeds came up in time. It looks so much nicer with grass. Just fills it up a little bit. Let's see if anything fun is happening here. There's lots of fun happening in here. 
I'm so sad it's a bat day. I want to go to Skull Cavern so bad, but I don't think it's worth it when it's this bad luck. I mean, it's not like the worst luck, so I don't know why I'm so like meh about it, but... Okay, let's get six more pumpkins. Maybe I should just go instead of delaying it. Delaying and delaying and delaying. I don't know how much benefit that's doing us at this point. There we go. And... Did we have any? We did have a bunch. Okay, so we need to grab our winter sea. Ah, we can actually wait for those, hey? Um, actually, maybe we'll do it because it's not the best luck day. Because we'd rather do it now than if it's like a really good luck day in the future. Where are you? I heard you. There we go. Okay, we've got all the powder melons from over here. Is there any down here? There are. Oh, there's a lot down here. Whoops. Oh my gosh, there's a whole sprinkler section down here. There's one. There's one that's hanging out. Okay, and then we'll go check our third crop area, which is over here. Because there might be some up over here. Yes, oh yay, and that's the one that we... There we go. Okay, let's do animal things. Where is my fence that I wanted to put here? Bonk. Can you shut this fence? There we go. We haven't done Mushroom Cave in a while. Whoops. Yeah, I think I'll just put a little stepping stone path there. I think that'll work. Just grab it. <laughs> just take it with us. Okay, and animal things. Good morning, good morning. Three, four, five. Six, seven, eight. Yeah, that works out. That checks out. Five eggs also checks out. Uh, one, two. Good morning. 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 Oh, good morning. And I don't think it's a, yeah, it's not a gold milk day, but that's okay, because we still have four milks, which is pretty good. There we go. And we're just going to toss these all in. Toss them in. One and two. Okay, so now let's do these, which I was thinking it'd be kind of nice to put one, like, right, right behind the gate. Skip one. Skip one. Skip one. Oh, that worked out really nicely. Is it? Did I get the exact amount I wanted? Wow. <laughs> That's awesome. Okay. Let's go and get that grass. I don't think we have enough for what I was hoping to do with it. Yeah. Oh, we have it 72. Never mind. We have, we have a bunch. So I'm gonna just grass because this is all this won't grow grass because it's like the it's the grass ground itself. And then we'll do a row down this way. Which I know is gonna eat up most of our grass. And then we'll do a row here. Hello. Which I know the seeds will still spread, like that's not enough to really stop the spreading of the seeds, but the idea is there. Okay, we'll put you away. We have some powder melons that we need to start converting. While that's happening, let's make some... Let's make 50 of it, sure. Wait for the powder melons to turn. Okay, and we 
are going to put this in front of here because you're probably wondering what the heck is going to be going on here. I don't know how much I want to put this in front. Maybe three? I heard you, but I don't see you. And then we're going to put a different type of flooring elsewhere. Going down, honestly. Put the seeds away. We're up to 115. That's crazy. We can actually let's just pull all of it up. There we go. And we will have to mow down some of this, unfortunately. Yikes! Yikes! That hurts so bad. And we'll just put this flooring down in between. I don't know how I feel about that. I don't know how I feel about that. Because then we'd have to do the same here. Eee, I don't like that mismatch. What can we do here instead? What can we do here instead? Hmm. I mean, we could do stepping stones. Actually, maybe I'll... Maybe that here. In that spot. Try that. I don't know. I don't know how I feel about that. <laughs> hmm. Do I have stepping stone path? I do. Forty-three. Wow, I have a lot of it. Um. Okay. Put some here, 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 here. Oh my gosh. And then I was thinking, even just like here. And then it would lead also out, out of here. I was thinking maybe not directly against it though, so that some of the grass could grow in there. And it will follow kind of like that path, like that. Let's see how we feel about that. I think I don't like this, so this is weird. We'll see how we feel if we just put this all as stepping stone. Sure, let's leave that for now. Oops. Doo -doo -doo. Okay, I'm going to put away this stuff and then we're going to go check Traveling Merchant because she might have. Odds are she won't, but she might have <laughs> um, a rare seed for us. I can wait for this to turn because this should turn for us pretty quick here. Yeah, this is tricky because I want to run down here like this all the time, hey? I don't know. We'll see. Oh my gosh, you have one! Hello! Oh! 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 You can trade in pine cones for these? Oh my gosh, you can just buy them? Hungry, need fruit. Oh, dried coconuts and cactus fruit jelly we can do both of those uh maybe not the coconuts what happens if we feed you what will happen oh my gosh you can trade in things for seeds that's awesome so we don't need to stress i mean we're still gonna do this but it was a dried coconut and do we have we have four regular quality, so we need one more because you need five of the same quality. Um, how can I do a path here that would make sense? I don't know. I don't know. Because I don't know if we're going to... Because we can put another crop field here. It's so hindered by this. Ah, shoot, if I tear up this fence, it's probably going to... 
Yeah, it's already too old. Should have some fence in here. 14. I don't know if that's enough. Let's just make 50 more. Wait for this to come up. Where are you? Are you close? We have stepping stone that we don't need. I don't see it, so we're not going to dig far and wide for it. I also forgot. We, can, we can't even go to Clint's today. Um, hmm. Do I want to send in my axe? I, we must send in our axe tomorrow for Clint. Okay, chestnut. Okay, how do we feel about that? And then we can have... Um, it'd be here. And here. Oh, I don't want to mow down this grass, though. Actually, I'm not going to do two gates there. I will do two gates there. I feel like I need another gate right here, which we can do. I was not anticipating this taking like three or four days, but here we are, here we are. Let's do one gate here, because I know I'm going to come down just like this all the time. So we'll put one gate right there, okay, and then I don't want to cut down that blue grass. That makes me sad, but I think we're, we're going to cut it down, because I think that's going to be the lesser evil. Actually, it's going to be really annoying going through the gate all the time. It's fine. Oh my goodness, it's so annoying how you can't put a path down under a gate. You have to like destroy the gate and then put the path down. Chestnuts butts in the way. Okay, and then we can go... I'm gonna, I don't want to cut down the... Ooh, hello. Don't mind if I do while you're here. Seven gold ore. I don't want to get the stuff in the fence. There we go. I was like, I'd rather get the things that can grow back rather than the grass that can't. There, okay, let's try that out. See how we feel about that. Yeah, we'll try that out. Let's put away all of our building tools and stuff and take out some of this grass and stuff. some grass there, see how we feel about that. That'll be a good kind of taste. Um, kind of want to put some grass back here, I'm not going to lie. There. Fill that in, because I know it won't grow there without our support, our encouragement. Okay, we have another lot of seeds here. How are we doing on our powder melon seeds for next winter? 188, that's crazy. We worked really hard to get those, hey? Um, the gold, I'm putting away the gold. I'm gonna take out this so I remember that I'm wanting to send in my ax. I want to send in my ax. <clears throat> Grab those, store those away, and then go to bed. 
We have time to take Chestnut to bed. As in, he goes back to his stable and we go to bed. <laughs> Away we go. I feel like this episode is like short. 124 and it's already the 26th. Yeah, because it's there's no we haven't had any cutscenes, like <laughs> it's been very quick days. Very quick days. Alright. Second last day. Will we finally be able to go to the skull caverns? Weather report for tomorrow is snowing. And the fortune is bats. Oh gosh, we're gonna go regardless. I we're going regardless. We're gonna make it happen. So I'm gonna do chores and then we're gonna go. And we're not gonna get distracted by a thousand things, right? Everything should be okay in here. Oh, oh, okay. So maybe I'll put only in like seven things so I can save. Cause what was it? It was a coconut, dried coconut and then a cactus fruit jelly. So we can do the cactus root jelly. Actually, yeah, we're fine. Let's do a cactus root and then we're gonna grab whatever seven other things in here. Six, seven, sure. Ship this for 1.6K, awesome. Cactus root. Can I not count? Oh, that's why. There we go. Goodness me. Alright, and animals. 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 One. Shoot. I don't remember how many of these we need. Um, I'm gonna run up here real quick, see what's going on up here. Oh, did we get all them all up here? Never mind. Okay. Sweet. Go in here. Good morning, good morning. We all are just vibing together in the same spot. Sure, whatever. Whatever suits you. And let's grab these. I think it's a, yeah, I was gonna say it's a goat day, which is awesome. Hang on to these gold cheeses. Don't know how I feel about the stepping stone path. I have to look at some other inspiration. Oh yay! We got our void egg already. Awesome. Okay, we're gonna make a void mayo because we know what we need that for. You grew up so fast, Nightshade. Oh my gosh. Okay. Um, and then we are going to need to make another mail machine, of course. We're doing pretty okay. Can I please just do this like a normal? <laughs> okay, here's the plan. We are going to store all of the things that we don't need in here. I'm going to store like half of those. Like, or three quarters of them. We're going to grab half of these. Just half. Um, this watermelon can become a seed. These seeds can go back with their pals. We need the axe with us because we're going to trade it in. There we go. Actually, let's grab um, all of these. Par one. Bar one. Gosh. And three triple shots. There we go. Okay. Three triple shots might be even be too much. Actually, no, it isn't because I'm popping one right now. Good morning, Rue. Good morning. You gave us a periwinkle. Thank you. I'm going to tuck that periwinkle in this chest right here. And Pam should be. Yes, she is. Oh, I feel really bad about doing this on a bad luck day, but what, you know, what choice do we have? Okay, so if we send this in, Saturday, Sunday, it'll be ready. It should be ready. First day of year two. First day of year two. And we can pick it up 
so that we can get rid of all the gunk that is there during year two. That's the plan, at least. All right, let's rock and roll. Yes, let's go for five hundred dollars. <clears throat> Oh, nice. Okay, let's hope that one of these coconuts is a regular quality so we can dehydrate it. Oh, there's a lot of them here. What the heck? Do a quick little spin. I know we kind of forgot to gift Sandy. No, they're all going to... Wait, that's actually fine if they're all iridium because we already have three and I think there's two up here. Yeah, we're fine. Mm, thank you. What are you? Oh! How convenient that we just happen to be in the spot where it was telling us to dig. Oops, hello, there we go. Strange doll, yay! That that was actually like so nice of the game to do that for us. <laughs> play, play, that's fine, okay. Cool, we are going to go to the desert trader, oh my gosh. Oh, the desert trader. I don't have my pan. Punished. You're gonna trade in. What? Oh, because it wouldn't let me trade in. I was holding down the option to trade in 25. And we couldn't. Okay, so what we're gonna do is we are going to keep like two of these with us. We'll keep three of them with us because we're gonna eat one right now. Double speed! This is our first time having double speed. Oh my gosh. So scary. Okay. Let's see what damage we can do. Hopefully having this luck buff will help us a little. I didn't even bring bombs. Oh my gosh. I meant to bring the bombs with me. I'm a goof. I'm a goof. I should just leave. I should leave. I should leave. But I'm already going. At least he's only taking one hit now. Well, we're getting stoned for Robin's Resource Rush for the second last day. Fifth, that's the maximum levels. We've held 15 levels. This would have been a really good spot for a bomb. You live, you learn. You know the easy rocks first. What am I talking about? They're all easy rocks now. Goodness. All right. I see how it is today. This one. This one. This one right here. Actually, this one. I want that purple mushroom because that's a good gift for the wizard. Quality love gift. Excellent. Excellent. Eee. How is my HP already so low? Is there a satin? <gasps> my goodness, I just got hit three times by that serpent. <laughs> Yay, thank you. Did we get an iridium? No. No, there was an iridium there and I just ran away from it. Oh my goodness. Silly me. That sounded like more than one. Hello? Can you spawn a staircase with your carcass? Prismatic shard. Tried. Okay, now the question is, how long can I just kind of kite around these mummies before they grief me too much? Nice. Not nice. Whoa, my game just moved. That was weird. Did that happen on OBS too? It like shifted. Let's drink another triple shot because our buff is wearing off. 
And let's hope that one of these, before we get to the very center, is kind to us with a lucky ring. Yeah, tried. <laughs> Will you produce a ladder? The answer is no. Will you produce a ladder? The answer is still no. How about you? We are halfway around the outer ring, which is a quarter of the way too much for me. Oh my goodness. This happened to us earlier in the playthrough, didn't it, it too, in like the regular mines? I feel like we wrapped very far around a spiral level before we actually got anywhere. Eee. Eee. Okay. Silly game. I should have just purchased bombs. We'll get there. We'll have... Oh my gosh, I'm actually... Jeez Louise, that took so long, hey? Can I make a bomb? I know it's not the best use of resources, but I... I'm just gonna put it there. It's fine. That didn't even get us the way down. It's because this is like a giant floor. I'm sitting in slimes, I'm sitting in slimes, I'm sitting in slimes. Oh my gosh. Huh. Those things hurt. Let's do some blackberry healing. I don't want to totally plow through all of our cheese. go feeling better about that no I'm not feeling good about this goodbye that was normally I don't want to do that use a hundred stone for that but we would have been there until like 10 p.m. if I didn't do that please don't spawn babies yay like some iridium or can you give me some nodes so I can get a prismatic shard that would be awesome awesome wait never mind can you tell I'm losing it there's no monsters on this floor is it the invincibugs I swear the invincibugs do something weird with ladder spawning to get like a second sort of bug killer for the specific no 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 no, no. We don't want to do that with this weapon can i make a bomb can i make a cherry bomb I can okay so i feel a bit better about combating these why y'all keep spreading out what the heck oh never mind okay bye okay bye I want this ruby. We're just trying to get deep. We've got past floor 25. I think floor 25 again is when... Oh, 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 oh. You start to actually get iridium. Seven. That's awesome. Okay, we're going to heal a little bit though. Because that would have, yeah, tanked us a little. 6.40 p.m. We're still doing pretty good. We got to 34. We're the lowest we've been. I'm not aiming to get to 100 by any means. Especially with like no bombs. I just want to get some iridium ores. Where are y'all at? I know it's not a good luck day, but still. I mean, getting to level 34 without good luck is pretty impressive. 
It's not. I don't know. People get a lot further. Ooh, and time to eat a spicy. Ooh, we actually got one because we started with three, but we ate one. So a serpent gave us one. And spicy eel heal us, which is wonderful. Where's the way down? E. I just want to be able to go down. Okay, they're convening, but we ran past them, which is fine. Okay, this is gonna be like a shaft level. Oh, no, man, okay. Ah! Play on the aggressive, never mind. You already took half my health. I don't want to. Ooh, let's go for those crates, though, and those barrels, because they might have something spicy for us. Oh, don't be a rock crab. No, you're a silly rock crab. It's okay. I think ro iridium rock crabs still give you iridium. It gave us one. It's our first iridium, and it's floor 36. It's so sad. Lucky ring. Oh no, but well we got the Sardi Valley Almanac, so we can trade that in for, what is it, hardwood, I think it gives us? Which, I mean, hardwood is hardwood, honestly, right? We can get some wood chippers and get some real wood out of it too, if we need to. Hello? Oh, there we go. Okay, oh, there was an Iridium over there. Crap. Run around, see if there's any Iridium. Nope, but there's a freebie, and we're going to dip before that serpent gets to us. <gasps> Please, I should be Iridium. Please, I should be. Yes. No prizzy, but there we go. Okay, so we're, we're up to a bar. We're up to one whole bar. Wow, we're doing great. I think this is our best run yet for Iridium, right? No, we had like nine or something one time, didn't we? And then I perished. Whoa, just literally saw that serpent apparate into existence. I don't think I want to kill that mummy. I think I just want to get a... Yeah, that's what I wanted. What time is it? 9.30. Oh, gosh. Okay, fine. Do you want to drop a prismatic shard for me? That would really be a nice send-off. Thanks, year one. Here you go. Good luck on year two, you know. <laughs> I would like a way down. We're getting so many Omni Geodes. This is really nice. So it'll hopefully help us kind of pop some of these remaining minerals. Even though I'm not too stressed about it now because we got access to Krobus, who we've talked to twice. Oops. There we go. Oh, I'm going to get this copper and then we're going to dip. Level 41. Where's all the iridium? Let's just go down this line. Nice. 15. Seven's really good. That's half. <gasps> Please be in the radio node. Please be here. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. It's happening. It's happening. Finally. Can one of you have your... Yeah, your rock crab. Can something here drop a prismatic charge out of its body? I'm just going down and not bothering with that. Running to the end. Well, kind of getting that thing out of my face. Na 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 boo boo. No, sorry. <laughs> I run faster than you. Is there more iridium? Because we had two, which felt really good to get those two. Because we have up to 13 iridium. That's like two sprinklers. One sprinkler? How many iridium bars do you need per sprinkler? 281. Wow. Ooh. Okay. Um, the creature is known as Forest Spirits, Junimos. So let's just tell us more about Junimos. When did we get carrot seeds? I didn't even notice that. 1130. No. We got to floor 50 though. That's crazy. Especially with little bombs to kind of help us do the dirty work.
please, 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 please. We will go until 1 a.m. And then we will actually grab our hoe this time. I would just like to see... Oh, not a death. Not a death. Not a death. I forgot that mommy's hit really hard. Can I not be... Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. Jeez Louise. These silly mummies. They just hurt. Well, y'all asked for it. Can you give me a red cabbage seed? Seriously, you could have given me a prizzy. Please be real iridium. I think it's real iridium. Yay. Oh, and there's a shaft. Level 58, that's crazy. Is there one more iridium node somewhere? There is. There is. My last chance for a prismatic shard, please. I'm gonna eat cheese so I don't die. so that you can just immediately put the bomb down, run away. There we go, let's get out of here. Oh, and we got a ladder too. Okay, we got a jet though. We got three iridium from that though, because we need to leave some stuff here, it looks like, so that we can take home some stuff. Because we want to take home one, two, three, and the spicy eel. Actually, the spicy eel we have room for. Ho, for sure. You, for sure. And you. Oh, yeah, never mind, we're okay. All right. Let's go, Marcus. I need to bring some farm tomes here. Wow. All right. <clears throat> chestnut, you ready? We're going to run to the cabin, Chestnut. It's so dark and... Oh, I forgot that it was winter time. That was pretty good for, like, a not good luck day. I am happy with that. 120. Yeah, we're going to just... Thanks, Chestnut. Thanks for waiting for me. We're just going to sleep in the cabin tonight. Boop. Yes. Nice. Another 4,000. Top things off for us. Last day of year one. Oh my gosh. And we can smelt some iridium for tomorrow. Let's check the TV in here. Why not? It's going to be sunny probably tomorrow. Yeah, because it's the first day. Fortune teller is good humor. Oh, is that good luck? Let's try that again so we can see. Yay! Okay, we're gonna go back to the caverns today. And we learned what is that? Cranberry candy. Cranberry candy. Wait, so plan for today is going to be to um, throw away sap. So we can pick. Oh, that's not even one that we want. We're gonna clean up our inventory. We're gonna smelt some stuff. And then we're gonna go back to the caverns. I can actually just throw this on right here. I have 51 coal. I have 51 coal. I have 54. Wow. I, sorry. I, that's a lot of coal. I was not expecting that. Sure. Add on. Let's do chores real quick. Wow, that is a, that's a haul if I've ever seen one. See that? That was a feels good um, Skull Caverns run. That, my friends, is a feels good Skull Caverns run. Seeds, food, put the food in there for now, forage, um, whatever, uh, books, it looks like a few, yes, and we have an artifact, we have you, okay, so, oh, I just stored everything, where is my blackberries? Again, 60 sounds good. We'll grab, how many should we grab? We had like 15 cheese before. Let's do 10 cheese this time. We will grab, where did it go? One, two, three, and one, two, three. Actually, we'll grab four. Because we're going to drink one right now. There we go. Okay. I'm put them down here, though. This is going to be coming with us. Um, I need... 
you're in the dehydrator for year two. Check your, take a quick peek in here, sure. Um, pop you. I'm just gonna put this here, cause, oops, no. I'm gonna put this here. And I'm gonna leave my hoe here, just in case things go sideways yet again. And we're just gonna go do some animal things, and then we're- Ah, oh my gosh, I need my bombs. Bombs, bombs, bombs. Uh, take half of you and all of you, because then we have two more. Am I gonna regret only taking 11 cherry bombs? Probably. And we're going to take you because we are going to leave ourselves a little gift for next episode. Excellent. Look at that void mail. That's wonderful. Oh, and we have an extra egg. Ah, I don't want this. Ship, ship. Not that. And. Oh, and we're gonna get a little bit of cheese extra. A little bonus cheese, that's fine. Bonus health. And trip, and trip. And we need to take these coconut down here and throw them in here. And now we need to ditch this void of mayo, and I might grab those other cherry bombs, honestly. Should we have this void mail? I'm gonna put it in here. I'm grab, oops, it's in here. The other cherry bombs. I'm gonna grab this warp totem so that we have a way of getting home a bit quicker if we want. Because we might even take it with us. Oh, that's not what I wanted to do. Yeah, okay, and then I was gonna switch these. I was gonna get chestnut. It's 9.30 a.m. We're doing good. Pam's going to be there soon. I'm going to leave Chestnut here because I think we're going to try and warp home so we can stay close to the bitter end. Did we pet everyone? Looks great. Okay, and then we're going to put the strange doll in here with the random paraphernalia that's already in there. And we're going to go. We're going to go. I feel more prepared this time. And it's a better luck day, which is exciting. Yeah, I keep cracking my knuckles. I'm so sorry if you don't like that. I know there's people who really don't enjoy that. Um, and I'm trapped somewhere. I, hello, game. There we go. And we're going to go. Today, the hope is we get a prismatic shard. That is the goal. Can I do anything with this yet? No. Okay. That's fine. Please don't spoil what that is. I will figure it out. Good start, mummy floor. Get me out of here, get me out of here, get me out of here. Oh, I should probably pop a spicy eel, that might help. Get a little bit more luck on our side. Go. Oh, thank you. Nice, there we go. Wow. Oh, there we go. Doing good. Oops, that was the wrong way. Oh my gosh, can you stop hitting me? You hit me three times in a row. Goodness. I'm going to be angry for my own fault. That's what's happening there. <laughs> thank you, because we. Ooh, okay. Decent crate luck so far. Just gonna run around real quick. Bye 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 bye. This looks like an excellent spot for a bomb. That was an excellent spot for a bomb. Not a spiral floor. We don't even have a hundred stone yet. Where's our stone? We only have 47. Yikes. How are we doing on this? 300. Yeah, we're not gonna complete that. That's fine. 
We'll get another chance. And we'll be able to actually be in a better position to start it. <gasps> Are you kidding me? Thank you. Holy. We are. That's that's a send off into year two if I've seen one. Thanks year one. Wow. That serpent literally dropped a lucky ring for us. It's the last day of year one. And we have a, a lucky ring. What are the odds? That was crazy. That was awesome. Okay, so now all that I could ask for is a prismatic shard. And I will be complete. My existence will transcend. Ooh, that's actually a really good spot. That's where I normally hope that... Hello? What is happening? What is happening? I think we're going to get a prismatic shard this run. I'm feeling it. We don't even have the level 100 note yet, so I don't even care about getting to level 100. Oops. I just want to get the galaxy sword. Oh my goodness, ghosts. Please. Please. Here we go. Nope. Nope. Nope, 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 nope. <laughs> Here we go. Where is this ladder? Oh, we need another, um... There it is. I feel like you're gonna give me a ladder. Nope. What about you? You feeling like, uh, you feeling like there's a ladder in your body kind of angle? happening and get out from under me. I'm going to eat a few of these. Yeah, I'm going to eat a few of these. Our HP is very low. Also, how have I not gotten level 10 combat from all this? I just realized that we haven't gotten level 10 combat, eh? We'll get there. I think it'll all come together. That could have been a potential cherry bomb. That could have been a potential cherry bomb. No babies. No babies. No babies. There's babies. Crap, crap. Oh my gosh, you both spawned babies. Ah, ah. Babies are just as strong as like normal size clowns. That looks like a cheese angle to me. I just, please, no babies, please, no babies, please, no babies. Oh my gosh. Okay, at least they're in a good spot this time where I can just kind of, yay. Oh, how did you survive, friend? Still no iridium, but we got a lucky ring. Like, what more could I ask for? Honestly, that's crazy. That's lucky. Ooh, a jade. Ooh, my game's lagging. Wait, is this bad? Am I dropping frames on here? No, we're still good. Okay, we're still fine. Level 14. I really want to get a shaft. A shaft would be really nice. Diamond? Oh! Just kite around you a little bit. There we go. My not so favorite floor. Let's get out of here as quick as possible. Running by nodes, which always makes me nervous. Ouch. Gosh, let me hit so hard. I hit so hard. What 
the heck? What the heck? Where? Ow. Really only take like two more um, hits. Um, secret. Oh, yay. That's awesome. Bear's knowledge. There we go. Just gonna do it, whatever. Ah, I don't want you either. I don't want you either. Your cousin dropped me a lucky ring. Do you want to drop me a... <laughs> Stop spawning babies. Oh my gosh. So we got these stones and then we're going to dip. We're going to run to the end. Probably a serpent will greet us. Nope, just a big slime. He Buffs are still looking okay. I don't know if I want to use these slimes. This is like a big floor, I think. Yeah, oh, and there's a... Nice, where's it going? Nope, 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 nope. Level 19. Ooh, oh, oh. Yeah, attacking when they come down at you is always so much easier. Look at that, yeah, but it will be... Oh, sweet, there's... Ah, uh, there's so much gold over here, I have to. Oh, okay, sure. Three levels, that's fine. Um, I'm gonna eat a cheese. I'm gonna try and kill that mummy before I bomb over here, but I'm gonna wanna bomb, so... for you. All of our buffs are wearing off. Oh, I didn't even realize there was a ladder there. I was just trying to eat a spicy eel. I was looking down at my tool, to my hot bar. We haven't even gotten an iridium yet. My goodness. Ooh, freebie. Run, run, run. Um... Hmm. Oh, I don't... Okay. This is so dangerous. These things hit so darn hard. Ah, put it down, put it down, put it down, put it down. No! I wasn't in time. I just wasted two bombs for no reason. Because I was debating if I wanted to use a regular bomb or a... Oh, we got a minor street. That's our first minor street. I was debating if I wanted to use a regular bomb or a cherry bomb. That's why I hesitated. And it didn't pay off. I should not have hesitated. Okay, we're still doing okay. What am I blinking about? Right. Yes, please. Okay, we can start to see some iridium, so let's see it. Okay. This is like floor 23. I think that might actually be iridium and not a rock crab, too. No, you little spy. Well, at least it gave us a way down. Not just stand in it. No, thank you. Oh my gosh, cheese. Perry. Put on shard? Ladder? Ooh, bomb. Okay, sure. feel okay doing you because you're coming down at me. What the heck? No, not one of these floors. Okay. <gasps> Our first treasure floor. Okay, four energy tonics. That's actually really awesome. That's another like come and clutch. Oh, and we have one iridium. 
Um, actually, I've learned that, yeah, there we go. If you hit the rocks in the treasure floors, sometimes you get a little present. I don't know if I want to kill you, because there's already a way down here. But what if we drop our prismatic? Okay, bomb's really good. Um, I might, okay, never mind. What the heck? These floors are nice, but they're kind of awkward. I'm just going to bomb here, because there's like not a really good spot to catch a bunch of things, but do I not have room for that? I'm going to yoss the sap. We have way too much sap. It's always the first thing to go for me is the sap. The sap, then the slime. And again, I know I'm not the most efficient... Um, Skull Caverns Runner. I mean, oh my gosh, already? Oh, mystery boxes. Thank you. Because I, I don't do the thing where I load into a floor and pause to let the floor load or whatever, but... No shafts? Okay, we'll take the ladder that we created ourselves, because I'm feeling good luck. I'm going to put a bomb right there. There's a lot of stuff right there, folks. Like a way down. We don't even need to hit the crates anymore because we got a- I can't believe we already got a lucky ring. That's so crazy. That's so lucky. And it like came from a serpent too. Normally I get it from a, a barrel. Chris Manitrag. Chris Manitrag. Chris Manitrag. I can get that earth crystal. I don't think it'll... Where is all the iridium? I'm on floor 45, pals. the bitter end here. Ooh, a secret note. Nice. What's this one? Oh, nice. Okay. This is a good bomb spot once I get rid of this guy. Don't spawn babies. Honey. No, you spawn babies. I don't want those babies. Go away. Go down the... Oh. <gasps> please don't be... Yay. Prizzy. Yeah. Please, please, please. No. It's okay. The iridium is still really awesome. Doing good. We still have a little over an hour to play with here. Ooh. Oh, there's an iridium there. Diamond. Did we level up our combat? We still haven't leveled up our combat. Oh my gosh. Crazy. I'm just going to bomb this. I think that'll be a better use of time. I stood in the bomb. Priz or yes, Prizzy, of course, but Iridium is kind of what I was thinking. I would like a way down. I don't... Yeah. Jade. Kind of choose random. Oh, okay. I'm just gonna bomb this here. That's a that's a good. I like these floors. These floors are always quite reliable. Nice. I see that iridium. I'm going for it. Oh, there's two there. Okay, that's a bomb because that's gonna take too many swings. Oh, ooh, we got it. 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 We're out of here. We're out of here so we can get that sword in time. <gasps> I can't believe we got it. That's so awesome. That is so awesome. Oh my gosh. We got a lucky ring. We got a prismatic shard. What more could you ask for? Ooh, 
what a good way to finish year one. What a good way to finish year one. I'm so happy. Yay. A prismatic shard changes shape before your very eyes. This power is tremendous. You've received the, or you found the galaxy sword, which is 60 to 80 compared to our 30 to 45. Isn't that crazy? Okay, so now we need to literally jump on chestnut and run. Can I get back to my own house? I can. Okay, I'm going to put away just some stuff. Was that greedy? Probably. Oh my gosh, what an awesome way to finish year one. What an awesome way to finish year one, hey? Holy, I'm so impressed. And it's, ah, this episode's actually pretty normal, 210. That's actually on the shorter side for a winter episode, hey? We got the galaxy sword. We got a lucky ring. We got a lot of iridium. We're going to probably have an iridium axe when we come back. Never mind. We'll have a ready. Oh, there it is. Yeah, we'll have an iridium max when we come back. Let's take a little sneak peek into. Sp oh, I forgot about this. Okay, I'm gonna skip it for now because I'm gonna, I'm gonna close down the game. But I'm gonna say thanks for stopping by. We have a little sneak peek of what's to behold for the future. That was an awesome send off. I really hope you enjoyed watching that as much as I enjoyed experiencing it. That was way too much fun. I am looking so forward to year two. Year two, the plan is we're going to be 100% tackling the island. There's a lot of things we want to tackle on the island. Don't get me wrong. Um, so I'm ready for that and I hope you are too. Thanks for joining us on this journey. This is the end of episode 16. This is the end of, of year one. We still have a lot of things cut out for us so I hope you do stick around for a bit more of the ride and I will see you in the next episode. Until then, bye bye for now.